How to become a model when you are a teen. If you're photogenic and enjoy posing for photos, you may have thought about becoming a model. Starting as a teenager is actually very common in the industry. Tyra Banks began modeling at just 15. It's not an easy field to break into, though, and it's not all glamorous photo shoots and fashion shows. You'll need to be focused, persistent, and hardworking to make it as a model. Getting started as a model. Do some research. Before you can decide whether modeling is something that you would enjoy or have the necessary qualities for, it helps to familiarize yourself with what the industry requires. It's important to understand that there are different types of modeling that you might do, such as fashion, plus size, and commercial, and you may be a better fit for some than others. Figure out what type of modeling that you would like to pursue. Fashion models typically walk the runway at designer fashion shows or pose for editorial photo shoots. They are usually at least 5 feet 8 inches, are thin, and not very curvy. Plus size models are usually at least 5 feet 8 inches as well, but typically are a size 10 or above. They typically model plus size clothing and accessories. Commercial models pose for everything from print ads to magazines to catalogs. There's more variety in the size and look in this field of modeling, so you can be shorter than 5 feet 8 inches and curvy. Parts models pose to showcase specific parts of the body, such as their hands or hair. You don't necessarily have to have a certain body type for this type of modeling as long as the body part in question meets the right criteria. Be realistic. Like acting and other careers in the entertainment industry, modeling is an extremely competitive business. It's also based almost entirely on your physical appearance. If you don't have the right look, you aren't going to be able to make a go of it. That means if you have your heart set on being a runway model and you're only 5'2", you may want to reconsider. You can't count on becoming a supermodel either. You should pursue modeling if it's a passion for you, but it's important to finish school and consider other careers that you might also enjoy. If you're in your early teens and haven't experienced a major growth spurt yet, you may be better off waiting to pursue modeling until you're a little older. Talk to your parents. If you're under 18, you need your parents' permission to begin modeling, so getting them on board with your plans is key. Explain to them why pursuing a modeling career is important to you. You can help show them how serious you are about by sharing some of the research that you've done, such as the type of modeling that you think you're best suited for. You may also need to reassure them that school will continue to be a priority no matter what happens with your modeling career. To help your parents understand why it's important to you to model, you might say something like, I think modeling would really help boost my confidence, or I feel like modeling would really allow me to express myself. If your parents are opposed to you starting a modeling career, it's best not to fight them on it. Give them a month or two to get used to the idea, and then try talking to them about it again. To reassure them that your schoolwork and other activities won't suffer as a result of modeling, you might offer to set ground rules with them. For example, you might agree that you're only allowed to pursue modeling if you maintain a certain GPA in school. Consider modeling school. If your parents have given you the okay to being a modeling career, you may want to consider taking a modeling class. This type of schooling isn't necessary to become a model, but it can help you build confidence in front of the camera and get you acquainted with the business side of things. Do an online search for modeling schools and classes in your area to find a good fit. Most modeling classes cost money, so you may need to ask your parents to help pay for it. You might offer to do extra chores around the house in exchange for the classes. Some modeling schools are scams. Be wary of any that require you to pay additional money for photographs or other add-ons. It's best to check with the Better Business Bureau and search for online reviews of the school that you're considering. Study magazines. If you don't want to attend modeling classes and aren't sure how to pose in front of a camera, it can help to look at other models in actions for inspiration. Look through magazines, catalogs, and print advertisements to get an idea of the types of poses and movements that work well in modeling, so you'll have some sense of what to do in front of the camera. It's also a good idea to try to recreate some of the looks that you see in magazines and other print materials in front of the mirror. Practice until you feel confident, and then try to come up with some of your own moves, so you'll feel more natural and effortless when it is time to pose. Look for local opportunities. Even if it's not in a professional capacity, getting some experience as a model can help you build your portfolio and resume. It can also help boost your confidence and make you more comfortable in front of the camera or on the runway. Check around to see if there are any local opportunities for modeling, such as a small business needing models for a print ad or a charity fashion show needing people to walk the runway. Getting even minor experience in modeling can also help you decide if it's really a job that you're interested in. Make sure that you enjoy the experience before you commit to pursuing modeling seriously. You don't need to get paid as a model for the experience to benefit you. Even if a friend needs a model for a school photography project, take the opportunity to get familiar with the process. Maintain a healthy weight. Your physical appearance is extremely important when you're a model, so it's important to ensure that you maintain your shape. You don't want to gain, or lose, weight and lose your healthy appearance. Depending on the type of modeling that you're doing, your ideal weight may vary, but you should make an effort to eat healthy and exercise regularly. Eat a well-balanced diet that includes plenty of fruits and vegetables, whole grains such as oatmeal and brown rice, and protein, including chicken, fish, eggs, beans, and tofu. 
Avoid foods that are high in saturated fat, trans fat, sodium, and sugar. 9. It's also important to drink plenty of water too. 64 ounces a day is a good rule of thumb, but you may need more depending on the weather or how much you're exercising. 10. When it comes to exercise, try to find activities that you'll enjoy so you'll stick with them. Running, biking, and swimming are all effective cardio workouts, but you may enjoy taking dance or gymnastics classes. Playing your favorite sports such as soccer, volleyball, or basketball can help keep you fit too. Make sure to get plenty of sleep too. While Photoshop can perfect photos, agents typically want to see someone who's naturally attractive and healthy looking.